Okay guys, as I promised you all, I'm going to do a bit of a test between some Chinese taps that I have here in um, this one's M35 and then I have some taps in M42. So both of these are cobalt tool steels. So the M35 has, if I remember correctly, I think it's 5% cobalt and the uh, M42 has 8% cobalt. So I'm going to test these taps against some German and, and British taps that I have here and just see how they're going to compare. I also have some dyes as well from China and these are in M35, so these are the 5% cobalt. And I'm going to also compare them against some of the, the Göring and um, uh, what's this, Gertus or maybe Gert USA, I'm not even sure what this is, but these are high quality taps, uh, high quality dyes that I have. I have a Swedish one here as well. And then I have some other one. I think that this is also Swedish. So I'm going to compare the Chinese against the Swedish here as well. And I've got a Göring here in that's a two point, uh, M2.5. And I'll compare it against the M M2.5 Chinese one. Originally, what I wanted to do is I wanted to measure the current draw on the drill press when I was going to be cutting, cutting some threads uh, with the tapping head. But some of the preliminary tests are showing me that there's going to be very little difference there. So I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm just going to drill into some, some high quality steel that I have here from subsea oil industry. I'm going to drill these out 5.5 millimeter uh, drill. And then I'm going to cut some M6 threads and just compare that and just see how they cut doing it the old fashioned way using, a, using hand tapping. So anyway, let's get started. What I'll do is I'll just set the camera up on the bench and then we can, we can have a bit of a closer comparison look at these. So if we set these up here, I've just done a preliminary measurement. And this one here is a very good quality English tap that I've got here. And you can see the difference. This one's quite a bit longer than the Chinese ones here. You can specify different lengths, but just from preliminary measurements, what you find is that the the end, the square part here that the tap holder is going to hold on to is 5.8 millimeters. And these ones here are 5.4 millimeters. Now this seems to be fairly consistent with the Chinese taps, because even if I go up to the largest size here, this one here is M8, what you're going to see is you're going to see a considerable difference in the end here and also the shank diameter you can see that the I think this one's a German one here no this is an English one the English tap actually has quite a larger uh, quite a larger shank size I don't know if this is going to matter too much it might just come down to the strength of the steel because I think this is a higher quality steel the Chinese manufacturer that I got these taps from they import all of their steel in from Japan but if we have a look at the M8 size here of the English manufacturer, this is running us at 6.2 millimeters for the M8, whereas the Chinese one for the M8 is running us at about 4.15 millimeters. Oh, sorry, not 4.15. This one is yeah, 4.95. Uh, 4 so you can see that there's a considerable difference in, in the shank diameter and also the bit that you're going to hold on to. With machine tapping, this probably wouldn't matter too much, but with hand tapping, if you're using a cheap tap holder, luckily I'm not, I've got quite a good on a, a Starrett, but if it's a if it's got quite, quite soft jaws, this of course being a small diameter on the Chinese one, this is gonna put a lot more stress on your tap holder when you're cutting. But being that this one's a decent one, I, I don't think I'm going to see too much trouble with this. If I have a look at the drill bits that followed with the um, with the higher quality, the M M42 metal tap, which is, let me see, I'm just getting all these confused now. That's this one here in M6. When I inspected the drill bit really closely, I compared it with some Dorma drill bits that I have. So this is the Dorma and this is the Chinese one. The grinding on the Chinese one, on the facets and, and everything like that, appears to actually be better than the Dorma. And I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but I'm super impressed with these Chinese drill bits. I think that these ones here in M42 as well, so these are high cobalt drill bits. But these are kind of just thrown in with the taps. So I use this to drill a test hole in this steel that I have here, this carbon steel. 
and it drilled it absolutely no problems. So uh, what I'm going to do, I've marked out for, for drilling three holes here. I'm going to bang three holes into this, and then I'm going to cut some M6 uh, some M6 thread, and then we'll um, we'll test this out with one of these caps heads, uh, one of these hex head screws that I've got here. So we can check to see what the fit and finish is like and see whether one of these taps performs better than the other. I know this is pretty subjective, but this is the best that I've got because my amp meter is not accurate enough to pick up the, the difference on the drill press. So anyway, we'll get started on this. I'll drill these holes and then we'll continue the test. I just blew through that second hole really, really quickly. I thought I'd just push this drill bit just to see how much it can take and I was really impressed with it. So I'll just record this one here and show you guys just how these drill bits are performing. go absolutely no worries and if I have a look at the drill bit just pristine even the coating is really really good on it no issue with the coating no overheating nothing just perfect super impressed really really good quality so I couldn't be happier for some freebies they threw in with the taps so I'll set this up on the bench and then we'll get to cutting some threads okay to keep this test fair I'm using the same cutting oil on all the holes so I'll just add a little bit here a little bit there and a little bit there so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to try this high quality English spiral this uh, machine tap and we'll see how this cuts the great thing about these taps is that they pull in on their own and I find that these are much much easier to get to cut straight than regular regular hand taps so you'll see that it'll start to eject the chips from the top and this one requires very very little effort so we can see and you don't have to back this out because it's there's no need to break the chips because it's ejecting them from the top so this is the English tap that I've got and like I said, you know, I wasn't able to run this in the machine because there's no way of, of even testing to see because it's just such low resistance. So you can see these little fine spirals coming out here. So it's ejecting the chip. And this is one of the reasons why I really love these spiral machine taps. They just cut so much better than hand taps. Now the Chinese manufacturer that I bought the tap from, or these tap sets from, said that these taps must only be used with machines. I'm not really sure why they said that because I've, I use spiral machine taps all the time with with the hand tapper, but um, anyway, that was their recommendation. So I believe we've cut through there. So if I back this out now, you can see the chip's already broken. It just backs out so smoothly. So now I've got a point of reference for the two Chinese taps. So I'm not really sure what type of high speed steel this English tap is. Maybe it, it has some information on the tap itself. So I'll find out. You see here. S365VS. I'm not even sure if that's the steel or not. But anyway, that was the English tap. So let's set that aside. So now I'm going to try the Chinese tap in M35, which is a high cobalt steel. So I've already hit this with some tap with some cutting cutting oil. So let's just get this lined up close enough to straight. Like I said, these things are brilliant at pulling themselves in fairly straight once you get going. So that looks all right there. So here we go. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm not noticing any difference here at all. None, no issue with the resistance. It's throwing out the chips exactly the same as the other tap. So yeah, some of the really cheap taps that you buy from China, sometimes they, they don't have relief cut into them. So you start cutting with them and they're just garbage, you know, they, they end up rubbing and you end up with all kinds of issues. But this here, I'm having absolutely no issues with this. It's doing a great job. But because it's shorter, you can see that it's take, I'm much closer to the work. Okay, the tip is starting to come through here now. Yeah. So, there we are. I believe we're through there. So let's just start backing it out. Let's see how we go. Yeah, a little bit more careful with this one because it's a bit thinner shank. No issue, none at all. I don't know, it's I think it's gonna be pretty much impossible to find a winner on this. I think you're gonna to have to tap like hundreds of holes to see what the difference is. I'll screw an M6 in, but an M6 hex hex head into here just to see what the difference is there's any with regards to the accuracy of, of the of the threads but I don't know so this is the M42 so I'm already noticing something a little bit strange with that and that is that if you have a look at the square part of the shank it's much longer on this one so it sits deeper into the hand tapper even with the M35 it's longer so that's actually quite noticeable because when I put that into the hand tap, into the handle, and I tighten it up, there's not a lot of meat hanging onto it. Uh, it's a bit tough to see because of the reflection, but it's. I wonder if I actually need a, my little baby starret for this because that's. It's really not much hanging onto that. Oh, let's try a little baby on this one. That's a little bit better. There's a bit more meat holding onto that. Luckily, the friction is quite low on this. So I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. On on the machine tap, on the machine tapping head, it, it wouldn't make any difference. But with this, let's see. Okay, it's straightened up. It's pulled itself in. I mean, even with the little baby star, it, it makes no difference. And this is really good high-quality steel. It's designed for the subsea oil industry. So I'll once I find out what steel this is at work, I'll, um, I'll I'll put it down in the description. But this is good gear. It's all X-rayed and everything to check for inclusions. So this is uh, the next step up from this steel is is tool steel. So this is uh, it's pretty decent stuff. And it's cutting this. No dramas now. Remember, this is a high cobalt steel, so you don't want to just be reefing on this handle because you'll. I think you can break this reasonably easily. It's quite a, it's quite a brittle metal. So I get this all the way through, which I think we've broken through now. Yep. Let's just back it out. Oh, that's a bit funny. I wonder if I've got some chips. I'm kind of getting a bit stuck there. Bit of resistance there. It ejected some of those chips, but some of them are. I think they might be caught down in the in the flutes. Let's see how we go. So we get this out. Ah, oh, it looks all right. I mean, that looks clean. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Right, well let's um let's see what what the deal is with this. See how this screws in. Okay. So the first one, no dramas. Let's try the second one. 
So your second one screws in easier than the first one. Quite tight fit. And the third one. No worries. Let's try a second one again. I think that that cobalt cut a, a tighter thread. The last one that we did, the third one, I think that's a tighter thread. It's less wobble in it. Yeah, a lot less wobble. I mean, both of these threads I'd, I'd be happy with if I had to cut on a machine or have have this cut so I could bolt something to a machine. This other thread's tight. So the M thirty five one's not as tight as the as the English tap that that I I'd, I'd used first off here. But overall, I mean, the, these are acceptable. I've, I'd have no issue with any of these, actually. And just observing them here, they, they've both cut very, very clean and tidy. So there you go. I mean, this is with M6, and, and I have no issue with that. Um, I'm not going to get around to showing you guys the dies tonight, but just to give you an indication of quality, let me see here. I'll find a, a Swedish... So this is this is one of the Swedish dies here and you can see all the surfaces are nearly like mirror finish they're very very finely ground even the back and the sides are very very finely ground let me see if I can just get the light there very fine grinding here the flat surfaces this one's the Chinese one here the flat surfaces are okay but if I show you the side here See if I can get a little bit closer. It doesn't really want to focus up up close. If I compare the two, there is significant difference. There's much much better polish on the Swedish one than there is on the Chinese one. But I mean, the Chinese are pretty sneaky. They're only going to put the effort into the stuff that's actually going to matter. This is how they keep their prices down. They don't care about the image of of you know being an absolute top tool provider. But even that said. I, I really I really cannot complain about about these taps at all they've just they've just done a superb job and in fact even that drill bit that I mentioned earlier it's just does a brilliant job absolutely superb so there you go this one here is for the for the cobalt that this is a high cobalt co, um, cobalt metal the m42 this one here is the m35 so this is 5% cobalt and then we've got the British made tap here which for the life of me I have no idea what kind of metal this is we'll see if I can look it up but um, there you have it these are your Chinese taps so if I had to have a guess at the price the high cobalt one this one right at the end the M42 this one cost me $8.75, not including shipping, and they threw in the drill bit for that price. The M35 that had no drill bit came in at, I believe it was about $3.20 or $4 thereabouts, so it was half the price. And then this other one, if I had to have a guess, I mean, buying it from someone like Tess, an M6 that's a high-end German or, Brit or British tap, they don't sell any of the British ones anymore, but the German ones like Goering or something like that, I'd be paying roughly anywhere between $40 to maybe even $45, which I know is outrageous, but, but this is the prices. These are the prices we pay here in Norway. So even looking at the chips that they throw, there's, there's really no way of, of identifying which one's cutting better based on the chips. Um, with regards to resistance, this one here had the highest resistance, the high cobalt, the M42 tap. Had the highest resistance when I was cutting, cutting with it, or or especially backing out of the hole. Um, the M thirty five one was was significantly lower, and and the other one, the British made tap was kind of in the middle. But there you have it, folks. I really can't complain. If you've got a decent manufacturer for Chinese taps, I mean, if you're not tapping day in and day out, they I think they're brilliant. 
but even if you are, I mean, this company here is is providing to industry. Um, so we we found a company that's producing for for all of the big workshops in in China. So the companies that are buying them are using these all the time. So we'll see how these last long term, but for the price, I'm certainly not complaining. So anyway, guys, I really hope that you enjoy this comparison. Like I said, they're pretty, if you're blindfolded, you wouldn't know the difference from one to the other because they're cutting just as well as each other and, and they have acceptable thread tolerance. So there you go, guys. I'll have an update with the dies at a later stage, but I hope you enjoyed it.